Yo, welcome back everyone to Lightning Gaming. So today I'm gonna show you how to cheese for Austin's Palace, which is located right over here on the map. Now first of all, you're gonna need something to break one block and then you're just gonna need one weapon to kill all the fast zombies. So you're gonna start off by breaking this block over here. This will be the only one you're gonna have to break. And before we continue guys, please remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up this method i'm about to show you you're not gonna need tons of ammunition to co to complete it and you're also not gonna have to build anything the strategy is simple we're gonna open this garage door and there's gonna be a ton of zombies inside like you're gonna see right now yes the sweets now we're just gonna activate it, I'm just gonna draw some attention so they can all come for me. Once you activate it, you're gonna run straight up the ramp. Now remember guys, you need a weapon to take out all the fast zombies cause you're gonna lure all of them out. And then the faster zombies will catch up to you. They really one big problem. Especially these jumper guys. Okay. So I'm just gonna take them all the way to the back, as you can see it's a ton of zombies. So many zombies in that one square, when you drop in from upstairs, they kill you so so fast. So this is the best method to get out all the loot. And yeah, it's actually right underneath the building, in the basement. You would expect it to be upper, but yeah, it's in the basement. Okay, so they're all coming out now. I'm gonna draw them just a little further because we just need enough time to get all the loot out. Okay, and this guy we also gonna have to kill because if he gets in behind us, it's over. He explodes us, kill us instantly. Because I'm only level 7 and I'm already raiding this. Just take care. Come, guys. Come, come. And we sign now. Now we just want this guy to either die or explode right now. Because when he charges in behind us, it's gonna be a big problem while we're looting this base. Just gonna run around here, throw him out a little bit. Okay. I like using the pump because I like the one sword for the fire zombies. But yeah, you can take any weapon you like. Let me just see, there should be more zombies in there, that can't be all of them. I'm just gonna go to the loot real quick. I think they will spawn in some more zombies once we get, yeah, yeah, they come. These are the stronger ones, so we're gonna run out again, drawing them out also. Now we have already have like 50, 60 zombies outside that we were gonna have to kill, but thanks to the way we're doing it, we don't have to kill them. We only kill the fast ones. Um, oh, they're so slow. Okay, that explosion dude is also still around here. I must just remember that. Here he comes. Kill him. Okay, I'm just gonna kill this guy real quick. Because he can make it quite difficult. He drop down once. Four or five more swords and he's dead. Come. Okay, here he comes. Okay, I think I'm just gonna let him detonate. This is taking way too long. Another fast zombie. Okay, he's gonna detonate. Okay, he got me bad there, but at least he's out of the way now. Just drop this one more zombie that's running, and then we're gonna swing around and go grab the loot. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, guys, once you start looting it, just be fast about it, because they will come in and they will block your way if you take too long. So just grab all the loot right over here. We get that real quick. Almost there's over here. Boxes over here. Then the big chest in the middle. And yeah, it's as easy as that guys. And then you can just run out. And you have all the loot. Super easy. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you liked the video, please remember to subscribe. We're really counting on it to help our channel grow. Till next time guys. See ya. Cheers.